So, good evening. I got to think about this. I've put up all these videos and um, the response so far has been pretty good. And of course, there's a lot of this electronic stuff I have been talking about and shown on how, uh, you know, you can repair this. And I realized this, that a lot of the YouTube views I have. And thank you very much for subscribing and watching my channel here. <clears throat> Do not have the equipment or the know-how on how to fix this. And so I was thinking about this. Is, I mean, there's repair services out there. They repair the cruise controls and the ECUs and this, that, and the other thing. And it is not a cheap undertaking. And some of these modules you can't really get anymore. Point in case would be the warning system buzzer. And I got to think about it. Uh, most people like me who watch this channel are cheap. That's why you're watching the channel because you want to do it yourself to save the money because otherwise, yeah, it's going to cost a fortune. And that usually limits the audience in general in terms of numbers to the specific topics we have and that limits the amount of viewers which are interested in this. I have now I think made a hundred or hundred fifty videos and the primary traffic actually to the individual videos because I put a title as accurate as possible in there in the description is picked up by Google and Yahoo. So people Google or Yahoo a particular topic and then they wind up in they're getting the link to the video. That is really the biggest source of traffic I have. The internal traffic generated by YouTube is less than 10%. So people who, you know, search something specifically on YouTube or, you know, they're getting that recommended is, is virtually non-existent. Um, some people have posted some videos on bensworld.org and those type of websites that has generated some interest in it. And by the topics, I can see the primary thing is fuel related stuff and then idle speed. That's where the biggest things or the, the most viewers come, the most views actually are being generated from. Uh, the least amount of views we're getting is on a specific videos where, where I repair a electronic device, whether it's the idle speed control unit, whether it's the buzzer, the uh, warning system buzzer, or if it is the, um, you know, the uh, fuel pump relay, the uh, ACC compressor relay, uh, that sort of stuff. There is not a lot of interest in this because it is too electric, too electronic. It's not mechanical. And I think some people, they would like to understand more about it. But you have to have a certain amount of knowledge in the electronics environment, you know, to, to get any deeper in there. So hence, I would like to offer you the following thing. If you have a warning system buzzer, and that unit is not working right or it is just constantly on until you put the seat belt on. I what would be a reasonable price for fixing this? So I thought 30 bucks. I put in the capacitors. If the transistor is bad or died, I will change them. And I will pay the return shipping via first class small package with tracking on it. You know, gonna take a few days. And I'm going to post a form, a PDF form via Dropbox. You can download that, open it up, fill it out, and include it. And you either PayPal or Cash App the money when you send it out. We need to have the money before the unit gets here. We will not work on your unit. We will not return the unit if we don't know where, if there was no money sent. That's it. That's the baseline in it. Uh, if you don't like it, don't send your unit out. We will not return the units if they have been sent without payment and there's no verification of it. So on that form we have, you can put your K 
cash app in there when you send it or your PayPal address and when you send it in the amount you sent. And then I can check this and uh, please put your email contact in there in that form and we will notify you when we have received it. If we receive it without any money, we will send you an email that we have not received any payment and uh, we will not have the stuff sitting here forever. So that's just something you have to keep in mind. Again, for 30 bucks, it will include the repair and the parts of those units. Unless the unit is none repairable at all, then we're just gonna take the money we have for the return shipping and we will refund the $30 minus shipping back to you and send that unit unrepaired back. But with the alarm, with this warning system buzzer, repair won't be a big deal. And we're gonna start there to see on how this goes, if this is feasible, if this can be done. Uh, and then we may gonna expand this out to the uh, uh, idle speed control relay because that is really a unit which has to has capacitors in it and other parts and they have to work right. And there's a few S and B parts on it, so that's a little bit more complicated to repair and to troubleshoot. But I'm in the process of building a diagnostic uh, system for those particular relays, the idle speed control relays, as they pretend to the uh, 420 and 560 primarily. Um, we probably can do the 380 and the 500. Uh, those two units, but the, the main focus is on W126, 420, and 560. And the reason why is not because I have one, but there is very, very little information out there on those cars. And there is even less repair parts out there. A lot of stuff for the 124s, 123s, diesels. Yeah, that would be another unit uh, for the diesels. That would be the glow plug relay or the glow plug timer relay which is temperature dependent we can repair those too so this is we're starting with the buzzer and then we're going to work our way up if this works out to the idle speed control relay and to the uh, diesel um, glow plug timers on those which have the glow plug timer built in these units are easily repairable and then uh, we may do the light module, but uh, the light control unit, but that is a little bit more cumbersome because sometimes they have blown tracks on it, traces on the circuit board, and they're not that easily uh, repairable. But so for the starting point, it is the buzzer. At a later point, we may can add the audio amplifier on the 88 or 89, 90, 91 models. Uh, 560 420 which have the uh, upgraded sound system for Mercedes Benz in there that's not yet the Bose system it was the first step towards Bose which they did that amplifier is uh, below the seat so these are the units I have been thinking about uh, repairing all the other ones the over voltage protection relay you can buy those you can buy the fuel pump relays the fuel pump relays are not easy to fix because when you shorten, have a short on the fuel pump, they will blow the traces and quite a few parts internally. And that is easier to just buy a new relay, either an aftermarket one or one of the, uh, you know, from Mercedes-Benz or via eBay. You're going to be better off with those. And um, we're not going to do the cruise control modules because they're very time consuming with resoldering all those joints, solder joints. And there's already another company. I don't know if they're still doing it, but uh, uh, they need to be resoldered and some of the capacitors need to be changed. I have not found a cruise control module yet, which had defective semiconductors in it. It has always been capacitors and bad solder joints. That's usually the combination. 99% of the time, any of the electronics I have worked on in these cars, uh, especially from 85 to 91 model year, it is all capacitor related and solder. That's the big thing. So we will take care of this. We're starting 30 bucks for the uh, warning buzzer, uh, warning alarm system, warning warning system buzzer 
uh, you mail it in to us, ship it first class, small package is the cheapest way with tracking, so you can don't lose it. Uh, <clears throat> if you want to send it priority, send it priority. Um, on that form, when you download it, there's a mail to address you want to ship this to. Uh, we will include then an invoice when we return this unit for $30 to you. And we will indicate on how much the shipping was in it, or it would just say including uh, shipping back via first class. Uh, I think the first class packages are insured when they have tracking, but I have to double check this. We would insure them for $30, basically. So if this module gets lost in the mail, um, then you may have to find another one. That's the best we can do. Um, if you want, like the channel. Um, we will never be a very uh, big channel to begin with because our topics are so specific that it is just, you know, a certain group of people who is going to be interested in this. In time, we may reach a thousand followers or subscribers. In time, we may get a million views. But uh, this will be over a period of time, over months, years. And this channel is, is not about generating money in, in that sense, in terms of advertising and all of this. I would have to restructure this. I would have to make this more entertaining. And this is pretty dry material. Whenever you repair something, it is pretty dry. And uh, if you have any ideas or things you need, want, uh, we can definitely take a look at this and see what we can come up with there. And, um, you know, when you can have some suggestions, what you may want to see or want to do or have done, we will see if we can put it in. Our primary topic here in this channel for the moment is the W126, the V8s, because that was a big lack uh on the internet to begin with, uh, which deals with the uh, V8s because there were never that many to begin with. Uh, there's more about the R107s, but with the uh, 560 and with the 420 and the 380 and the uh, 500, there is like that hole and we're trying, or I'm trying to fill this void. Um, the other thing is I also have gotten in touch with Truck Tech and I have a contact point now in Miami. I believe it's a 305 area code. Uh, their sales manager for the United States is, I think, down in down in Miami or in the greater Miami area. I guess he's probably doing Latin America too. And uh, so they emailed me a catalog, a 700-page catalog, only with Mercedes-Benz parts. And I'm not quite sure of what I'm going to do with this, but Truck Tech seems to have a lot of parts. And the Truck Tech people also have the, uh, this is just the Mercedes-Benz catalog, what they sent me. They also have all the screws and all the little plastic plugs and this, that, and the other thing, all that mounting hardware you need cataloged. And... So you can actually see the picture and they have the MB part number as long as they had an MB part number and what particular chassis or model uh, and engine that applied to or it was just a general part. And they basically got all of it, all of these plastic plugs for the fender walls, you know, splash guards and uh, underneath dashboard stuff and God knows what else and o-rings and and gaskets besides of water pumps and air conditioners and uh, i mean they got the whole the whole line of stuff i don't know, know about the quality of of some of these things switches and and this that and the other thing but from the test i did with the uh, rubber related parts gasket related parts i think that they're going to be better than anyone else of the aftermarket companies and I think they have a reasonable price too. So I will see what I'm going to do there. That might be of interest to some people. Because like I said, a lot of times you lose some screws. You take something apart. You can find them. And they got all the specialty screws too. Um, so that was an interesting thing. I thought I'm going to throw that in. I don't know yet what I'm going to do with this. But I will keep you posted. 
And with that, you have a wonderful evening.